Have you ever been called a name? Threatened? Attacked online? Well, it's time to change that. Speak up and let your voice be heard. No one has the right to treat you like you're worthless or make you feel unwanted. It's time to make a stand against bullying. There's three types of bullying, verbal, physical and cyber. Not all of these forms of bullying can be seen because it happens online and out of sight from our parents, our teachers. Bullying isn't always taken seriously. People say that it's only a name or you'll get over it. Unless you're a victim of bullying, then you won't understand that it tears people apart inside. It slowly rips them up. And people don't even realise that words can hurt. And they do hurt. Personally, I don't understand why people do it because it doesn't make you any better than that person. In fact, it just makes you a worse person than you are. Bullying happens every day and sometimes we don't even realise it. Since it happens so much, we believe it's a part of life and it's normal when it isn't. What is normal? Do we have to be different from others for us to be bullied? Sure, you may see someone be called a name at school, but what you don't notice is that this follows them home on social networks such as Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr and so many others. Behind closed doors, teens or any person is dealing with cyberbullying and no one is taking action to prevent it from happening. This happens to 42% of teens and 80% said they have seen this happen. I bet most of you reading this have at some point in your life experienced a type of bullying. People who cyberbully, they just hide behind a computer screen, fake profiles assuming they won't get caught, but online it's harder to know how it's hurting that person since you can't really see their reaction. At the end of the day, we are all just human beings. Everyone is different, no one is the same as each other, so why say that someone is different and should be treated like they are worthless? Calling someone fat doesn't make you skinny, calling someone ugly doesn't make you pretty, and calling someone dumb doesn't make you any smarter. Most importantly, telling someone to die does not make you a better person than they are. In fact, it makes you a worse person because everyone has the right to life and nobody is allowed to take that away from you. People shouldn't judge you by your religion, skin colour, whether you're gay, lesbian or bisexual, or for any other reason because everyone is unique in their own way and that is what makes life so interesting. Another big issue is society. Society says we have to look a certain way to be so-called human and that if we aren't a size zero then we're too fat. All this pressure society puts, puts on us can tear people apart and make them feel they aren't good enough because they don't look like someone in a magazine. This affects people's self-esteem, especially teens, and this can lead to depression, eating disorders, self-harm, or even suicide. Loads of teens either move school or commit suicide in hope to escape the horror of reality. By moving school, they are in hope to avoid the bullying. But this doesn't stop the bullying from cyberbullying. Cyberbullying really plays on a person's mind and can easily push them over the edge, therefore committing suicide because they can't bear the pain anymore. It's a very serious issue which should be handled more efficiently before it's too late. And to those of you being bullied, you will win the battle. You need to tell a teacher or a parent, anyone. Once they know what you're going through, they can start to try and prevent it and help you. And remember, everyone is their own person. You may feel like you're being treated as though you are different when in rea well, when in reality you aren't. And remember, you will get further in life than they ever will. Stay strong. I love you.